Hebat banget. Sudah antri bukan dari dua hari lalu, dari tiga hari lalu dari abis maghrib kan? Sudah camping, makanya studio ini baunya luar biasa malam ini. Ya? Enggak ya, fitnah aku ya. Fitnah. Fitnah lebih kejam daripada bukan fitnah. <laughs> Tapi nggak apa-apa, nggak apa-apa. Mereka nggak antri dari kemarin-kemarin. Memang nggak ada cara khusus untuk bisa hadir di sini malam hari ini. Tapi ya, mereka memang beruntung aja. <laughs> Tapi nanti besok-besok ya, kalau misalnya ada lagi artis internasional yang hadir ke sini, kalian pasti boleh datang. Ya nggak apa-apa. Langsung aja telepon ke net atau nggak Twitter, Mbak. Aku mau datang, Mbak. Bawa makanan. Biasanya itu pasti pasti lolos. Bawa makanan. Kalau makanan itu harusnya hangat, memang bawahnya hangat-hangat, jangan yang dingin-dingin. Kalau memang itu dessert harusnya dingin, ya bawahnya dingin gitu. Jadi makanan, makanan tuh bisa bantu banget. Tapi sebelum saya undang tamu saya yang jauh-jauh datang dari Amerika, tapi sekarang lagi keliling Asia, saya mau kasih lihat dulu profilnya ya. Kita lihat tayangan berikut ini. Perempuan cantik kelahiran Beverly, Massachusetts 17 Februari 1994 ini merupakan juara ketiga ajang pencarian bakat American Idol. Ia tumbuh di dalam keluarga musisi. Ayahnya seorang pemain keyboard. Sang ibu mahir memainkan gitar. Sedangkan kakaknya bisa memainkan beragam instrumen. Setelah melihat final season kedua American Idol, she promised to herself that one day she would make it to the competition. And her dream indeed came true. Ia menjelma dari seorang gadis pemimpi menjadi musisi yang sesungguhnya. Banyak yang terkesima dengan jangkauan nada dan karakter suaranya yang khas. Dalam beberapa penampilan, ia kerap memperlihatkan kelihayan menarikan jemari di atas tuns piano dan berhasil membuat Randy Jackson, Nicki Minaj, Kip Urban, dan Mariah Carey berdecak kagum. Dan inilah dia teman lama saya, sepantaran kita sekolah bareng waktu itu di TK di Amerika Serikat, Angie Miller. Just a little gift for you. Oh, thank you. I'm so lucky. Thank no, you so much. Thank you, thank you so much. A kiss. Come sit down. Come of, sit course, down. of course. Of course. How are you? I'm great. It's good to be here. I actually just landed here a few hours ago, so it's. Oh my God! Baru mendarat dari Vietnam. From Vietnam, right? Yes, from Vietnam. Wait, so you've been traveling around Asia. Yeah. For has it been like two weeks? You've been uh, it's been a week so far, week. and there's still a week to go. And yeah, I mean, I follow your Twitter. There's one time that you ask, "How was your Wednesday?" Because I missed mine. You were on the plane, yes, right, yeah, yeah. heading here. Yeah, you've been trying to learn the language also. But do you do you miss anyone? Who do you miss the most when you're traveling like this? Um, this is a rare exception because I never get to go to Asia, so I'm just. This is your first time in Asia. Yeah, this is the first time. First time. First time in Asia. And she's yeah. Yeah. Oh, yay! Thank you. So I'm kind of, I'm kind of not missing home right now, and really? I'm loving it here. Yeah, I really am. Good. You're okay with the weather? I mean, it's hot. It's it's too it's hot. hot. Is it too hot for you? Not too hot. It's. It's too humid, though. It is humid. It's very yeah. sticky and humid. Yeah. But you know, sticky is okay. It makes you look sexy with all the sweat <laughs> and the shine on the face. You I guess know? so. Right? Not so much for like a TV show, but I you mean... look good. You look good. How's the food? Are you enjoying the food so far? Are you okay with spicy food? No. Oh no. I, I'm not a fan of spicy. No, no, no. I'm good. Okay. I'm good because there's lots of not spicy stuff. But I'd say half of the food I love and half of it. I don't love you can't it. take it, right? <laughs> yeah. But will you be traveling uh, elsewhere besides Jakarta? Will you be going? You be going to Bali, I'm right? I'm going to Bali. You mm -hmm. lucky. I. Can't you know wait. what? I'm going to Bali also. You are? Oh yes. yes. You going next week? I'm going in, in a few five days. days. Yeah. Oh, berarti kita bisa jemuran bareng dong, friends. <laughs> We can be, you know, start developing some kind of friendship here. We go to the yes. beach together. The hang beach out. sounds great. We do selfie. So I can show people on my Twitter like, <laughs> look who's my best friend. <laughs> people, they've been waiting for you to get here. I was telling them my Twitter since like two weeks ago. I think they know you were coming. Two weeks ago, they were like, how can I get on this show? How can I see her? How can I see her? So you have a lot of fans here. So thank you again for coming. Which is unreal. I still can't get over that. Really? Yeah. Well, you know, I was just looking at the profile and you come from a family filled of musicians, mm -hmm. right? Your parents, your mother, your yep. father, you're used to music. So this is to be expected, right? To be a superstar like this. Uh, not to, to do be something great with music. 
Well, to be a musician, yeah, I think it's to be expected because I'm surrounded by music, but to be at this uh, level and to have been given the opportunities that I've been given, I never expected that, so. So you still wake up in the morning and like, Yes. Really? Especially now that I'm here in Asia. I'm like, whoa, I have fans all the way in Asia. Like, I'm still slapping myself. Yeah. Do you have paparazzi following you when you're around now? No. Is that, no? <laughs> no. Do they like, you go to get your coffee, they take photos, you go, go to the public toilet at the mall. They go like, can we get in this booth with you, please? Take no, no, that doesn't happen. You don't happen. get that? No. Are you ready for that, though, if one day that happens to you? Um, uh, during Idol, like when I was American on American Idol, Idol huge. yeah, when I was on American Idol, it was like that a little bit, um, and it's kind of it's weird. It's really weird, but um, it's definitely died down now. But I don't know. I hope, I hope I'm sure I'll be ready for it if it comes <laughs> if it happens again. Yeah, but I hope they don't come into your stall when you're in the toilet. I hope yeah, so has, has that happened to you? you? Yes, they follow me everywhere. That is crazy. It is crazy. I mean. Paparazzi, so and these people, they're actually paparazzi also. They're not really viewers. I know they're like, no, yeah, okay, Eraku, yeah, okay, never mind. Uh -huh. I don't even think they're my fans. <laughs> they're, they're just your fans here. No. But um, I, I read that you've always wanted to be on American Idol. Yeah. I mean, you've been watching it since you were young. Mm -hmm. You've been wanting to go on the show, and once you're on the show, it's a lot of pressure too, right? It is. So how, how did you, how, how did you have the strength to just to stay and stay focused and I mean it could be difficult all yeah, the pressure. I mean it was extremely hard emotionally and f like yeah, physically, yeah. Even physical changes and um, it uh, gets really crazy and it happens really fast and I'm just, um, I realized quickly how important it is to have real friends, yeah, uh, real friends and real family in your life. To support. Yeah, to really support you and how important how important that is and that's what really kept me going who would you look for who did you look for when you were and I'm, I'm sure there was some like low points when you were in that yeah. competition that you just felt like oh my god maybe I should give up should I stay should I give up and you know <laughs> who 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 did you speak to who did you we, we call it here who did you churhat to churhat or churhat churhat means pouring your heart out mm -hmm. you know who, who did you call um, during that time it was my family, my mom, my dad, my brother, and my best friend Lydia, and now I also have my boyfriend, and it's that that right there is like my my uh, type your of rock. people that yeah, literally my rock. Yeah, that's good. It's important to have those people. It around. really is. They keep you humble and they keep you. They keep you grounded. Keep you yeah. yeah, they keep you strong. Yeah. Are yeah. there heels traveling with you? Any of them? Um, uh, Do you have anybody? Besides your entourage, besides the bodyguard, <laughs> the manager, the, you know. No, I have, the I have two people. very important people with me. I uh -huh. have my boyfriend and I have my friend who is my tour manager. So oh, I that's have, nice that yeah. she's your friend Well, also. she is. She has become a very awesome friend. Hi, boyfriend so. and friend. Welcome <laughs> to Indonesia. Thank you for coming. Next time you come to my house. I give you not so spicy food, okay? There you go. You should yes. come and visit. Yeah. So let's talk about this song. This song, uh, set me, You Set Me Free. Mm -hmm. It was uh, mind-blowing and the judges uh, loved it instantly when you, you sang yeah. it and you played it. When you wrote, you wrote that song yourself. Yes. So when you wrote it, uh, you, you knew it was going to be a hit. I mean... <sighs> no, because I, I wrote it obviously before Hollywood Week. Yeah. And um, I was just sitting in my basement, like my basement had like a piano set up and I was uh -huh. just sitting there. I started playing piano and um, I kind of was so stuck and didn't know what to sing about. And then all of a sudden I just opened up my Bible, saw an incredible scripture and I was like, that's what I want to write about. Put the lyrics to the song and, uh, and never expected it to be anything. When I got to Hollywood Week and they were like, you can do an original, I was like, uh, I had only sang it once before. Right. And I was like, I don't even know if it's good. I, I don't know. Where did you sing it? It, where, it was at my brother's school. <laughs> so it was like, like, okay. Yeah, it was like completely, I had sang it once at a school and you know, people liked it and thought it was cool. But then I was like, to my, from my brother's <laughs> school to national to, TV, yeah. it's just such a difference. And I was really, I really it scared. A, it became a hit though. But thank you. Uh, when did you start writing songs? Honestly, that, that's when I really started writing songs. 
I, I had I, I wrote like one song when I was 16. See, what? Do you remember? Do you, yeah, you, it, I'm sure you remember. <laughs> Judulnya the title. It it never had a title. It was the untitled love song. Can we hear a little bit? Oh no, that just is the word. Just, honestly, I just want to know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a uh, little bit. Uh, I, I mean, you know, this song that became such oh, wow, a hit even... internationally, people heard it, people know it. But, I, you know, something that you wrote when you were 16? Oh, gosh. I can barely remember it, but I think the lyrics were something like, do you even know that I'm falling for you? Do you understand what your eyes do to me? I have to get away and run away because you take my breath away or something like that. <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> was that? <It> was... <laughs> What was that for? It was silly. It was a I'm pretty crush. Sure, I'm pretty sure it was just for like a little summer camp crush and I don't even know. <laughs> it was so long ago, I feel like. So will you be coming back here to Indonesia for like a big concert oh my showcase? Goodness. Yes. Because I mean, I, I, I hope that when an album releases that I get the opportunity to come here because I when never... When is the album going to release? When, when is it? If everything goes great, hopefully, hopefully this year. This year, um, mid, end? I have no idea. I really, because um, I'm writing all the music. Oh, and, wow, okay. And with other people, like yeah. with co-writes and stuff. Yeah. But I just really want to make sure it's really good and get the right label to be signed with and really just working on that and making sure everything's good before I release it. Jadi yang ngefans sama Angie Miller ditunggu albumnya sebentar lagi keluar. Katanya tahun ini semua lagunya dia yang nulis. Dan uh, before we go, before we go, can you say something in Indonesian just to prove that you really have been learning a little bit of the language here in Asia? <laughs> just a little bit, it's okay. Because my Indonesian is also not very good. Aku juga kan kadang-kadang bahasanya aku susah-susah kan. You know, it's so funny. All the languages are like blending together. Yes, I'm, like, you, you, I'm saying hi, I'm like... a little bit of this, a little I'm bit like, of that. Oh, I mean, I mean, hello. <laughs> Every language. Let's see, did you learn anything? Um, the only thing that so, like... Indonesia? Because, you know, I've only been here literally a few hours. Yeah. And the only thing, I looked at stuff that I would love to do and uh -huh. would love to go see. What would you love to go see? I love going to the different markets in the different countries. Oh, and market, market, traditional market? Yeah, like, oh, like, okay. Pasar Baru. Pasar Baru, yes, Pasar Baru. yes. That's, that was That's good. about all I know, though. That and... Uh, you should go shopping in yeah. Pasar Baru. I teach you I another one. Pasar Cipete. Oh, gosh, what is it? <laughs> That's a market by my house. Oh. <laughs> Anything else? Did you learn? Um, How are you? I haven't yet. Can you teach me, please? Yes. Apa kabar? Akabak. Apa? Yeah. Apa? Apa? Kabar. Kabar. Apa kabar? Apa kabar? But I'll teach you one thing. This is very important to say when you're in Indonesia. Okay. okay? Yes. Sara sehan kece. <laughs> what does that mean? It's just, it's very important. It's like a password. When you have problem going through immigration, if you come here one day without your entourage, not for a concert as a tourist, you know, sometimes you have problems getting stuff, yeah, yeah. you know, in and out. You just go, go immigration and you go, Sara Sehan Keche, and everything's going to be smooth. Awesome. Sara okay. Sehan Keche. Yes. Sara Sehan Keche. Thank you. What did I just say? And for that, which basically means Sara Sehan is kind of beautiful kind of. <laughs> but thank you for saying that thank you for wanting to learn that and this oh, is for you oh you're cute thank you and you are beautiful by thank the way you, so you are much, gorgeous Angie. you are gorgeous and good luck with everything oh, have a you. wonderful stay here we hope to see you soon maybe i'll bump into you in bali yes but let's do a selfie and you know i want to show that. my that son is, that i is... have a a friend from uh do you have, do you, oh, you yes. mind? Okay. Yeah, okay. okay, you just have to press oh, this yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. We just, like best friend, okay, best friend. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Angie Miller. <laughs> Let's see how that turns out. Okay. okay, jangan kemana-mana, ada tamuku yang lain. Kita sebentar lagi akan ketemu sama sutradara dari film yang lagi heboh banget. Ada fotonya di sini. Jalanan, this is one of the most happening movie. If you're here for a few days more, you have to watch this. I'll it's watch by a good it. friend of mine yes. and he's here. Okay. Jalanan, ada Daniel Zip dan teman-teman dari Jalanan. Tetap di sini.